In February 2006, the south of Ivan Line's player-ruled Nullsec region was dominated by the Russian Confederation, Red Alliance. The Great Wars of 2004 and 2005 had left Red Alliance as the last remaining major power in the region. But unknown to the leaders of Red Alliance, a coalition of allies was forming to rise up against the Russians to reclaim what they believed was their rightful homeland. Individually, these groups were no match for the Russians. But working together as a singular unit, the coalition of the South was unstoppable. The coalition's fleet was one of the strongest armadas ever assembled in EVE Online. More than 400 coalition ships arrived in Red Alliance territory, and the Russians began to fall apart. System by system, the Russians began to lose their grip on the South. The Red Fleet had grown soft after years of unchallenged rule and was decimated by the invaders. But Red Alliance drew a line in the sand when the coalition arrived in the region of Innsmother. The Russians planned to fight tooth and nail for their traditional home region. The Russians unveiled their brand new fleet of colossal Dreadnought-class warships and prepared for the fight. The battle was a disaster. Red Alliance's state-of-the-art Dreadnought fleet was completely dismantled, and the entire alliance began to fall to pieces. Hundreds of members began packing up their gear and evacuating the area, until all that remained were a mere 70 pilots. But those final 70 refused to retreat. They vowed to resist and went into hiding as the coalition overwhelmed their systems. They stayed behind enemy lines and trained as resistance fighters, waiting for their chance to strike down coalition rule and restore the Red Name. The Russian freedom fighters prowled through the newly conquered Coalition of the South territory, destroying hundreds of stray coalition ships. As time passed, these 70 guerrilla pilots became the most finely tuned fighting force anywhere in EVE Online. But the Russians knew they couldn't win the war by winning small battles. To reconquer their homeland, they needed to defeat the coalition fleet head on, and they would begin in the star system SeaTac J6MT. The 70 Russians launched a sneak attack on the system, destroyed every piece of coalition property, and quickly erected defenses. The massive coalition fleet would soon come in force to reclaim the stolen system, but the Russians were ready. On May 25, 2006, 400 Coalition of the South warships warped into SeaTac J6MT ready to deal the final blow to the Russian resistance. The coalition's dreadnought siege ships lumbered into position, readied their massive weapons batteries, and aimed to obliterate the 70 Russians. The Russians were outnumbered five to one, but they were prepared. As the coalition's dreadnoughts unleashed a torrent of destruction, the Russian fleet commander gave the order to counterattack. lasted several hours. But when the smoke cleared, the Russian defense was still standing, and the coalition's Grand Armada was destroyed. The Russians had held their ground against incredible odds, but their war for revenge was only just beginning. And the rest is history.